Welcome back to the Mr. McNugget Show. I am, of course, Mr. McNugget. And this week I have some really hard hitting news that I want to talk to you about. Something that's very important to me. Actually, it is interesting, but it's not nearly as important as what I talked about last week. So have you noticed lately that places like Burger King and White Castle and some of these fast food restaurants have been introducing uh, meatless or plant-based meat substitutes on their menu? And one of the more popular ones in advertising is Burger King, of course, with the Impossible Whopper. And the Impossible Whopper is the Whopper sandwich with the Impossible Meat or Meatless Impossible Patty. It's a brand, Impossible. And this is plant-based. There is no beef inside of this. And I think it's cool. I think it's a cool thing. I, I'm not at all the type that's going to tell somebody or think poorly of somebody if they choose to eat meat. I eat meat. I'm not going to poke fun at people who choose not to eat meat. That's your choice, and I'm sure there are tons of health benefits for it, and I'm sure lots of you would tell me all the ways <laughs> that there are health benefits for choosing not to eat meat. And for even friends that I have that are vegan, I think it's wonderful. There's a great deal of discipline behind choosing a lifestyle such as veganism. I mean, being a vegan is... I mean, that, that is a totally top to bottom, left to right change for your entire life. Your, your whole diet is not what is on menus, basically. You kind of have to work against the grain. And so that can be challenging, you know, and most people don't want to make their lives harder. But if it's important enough to a person, they will make things work, right? Well, I have an issue here with this, this impossible Whopper thing. First off, I've had the impossible Whopper. Actually, I had the Impossible Whopper Jr. And then in more recent weeks, thankfully, I'm very happy about this, they started making uh, an Impossible hamburger, not the Whopper with all of the stuff on it. I like Whoppers, but I don't like all the mayonnaise and all that stuff. It's just not, it's more calories than I care to get in a fast food joint sandwich. I usually just go with something really simple and move on and, and get something better for me later. But I have had the Impossible hamburger and it's good. It's, it's quite good. It's not exactly the same. It's close enough. It's a close enough approximation to get you through. I like it. But here's what I've been hearing, and this is what I've read in the news, and you know, take it for what, it, what you will. It's the news. But apparently, I don't know if it's vegetarians, vegans, I don't know who this was or what group they're lumping them in with, because you can't just be an individual with an opinion in the news or on the internet anymore. It can't be, this individual said this opinion. It was, this vegan said this. Which, it probably was someone who was a vegan, but I love how it's like, vegan said, because a vegan said. That's kind of how our world works now, right? Somebody says something and it represents the entire group of people that they're lumped in with. A vegan says, or vegans say, that the Impossible Whopper at Burger King is not a vegan option because it's grilled on the same surface as actual meat, thereby placing traces of meat, beef, into the meatless patty and causing vegetarians and vegans to be going against their principles and against their diet. Was this a complaint lobbied by somebody who is or was or continues to be vegan? Sure, probably was. <laughs> makes sense if that's important to them. But here's what makes me question this whole thing. What vegans eating at Burger King? Unless they just wanted to give this thing a try, I don't see any of my vegan friends eating at Burger King. So this individual had to have been somebody who was going into a fast food restaurant, even being a vegan themselves, looking to stir the pot a little bit. And my issue there is everybody kind of loses out on a step in the right direction. And that's what I see this as, is a step in the right direction. You kind of lose out on these steps in the right direction when everybody's being pulled at from one extreme to the other. Because what this does, this throws all the uh, anti-vegan people off their rockers saying that they all act this way. They're all that way. They're all that way. 
but they're not all that way. Because 98% of vegans, I guarantee you, are not walking into a Burger King restaurant. It doesn't match their lifestyle. It doesn't match the choices that they make for their diet. Burger King does not fit in their repertoire at all. So somebody was looking to stir the toilet bowl a little bit. It's working. Now, Burger King, I'm sure, is still making the impossible patties on their grill, whatever, the flame broiler. Is that what they use at Burger King? The flame broiler? I'm sure they're doing it the same way they always have. I think people need to understand, at least from my perspective, and I know that my perspective isn't the only one out there, but you have to look at improvement as improvement. Burger King is not gonna be your pillar of good health, ever. It's not their goal in life to be the pillar of good health. However, if you're someone like me, who is not looking to become vegan or vegetarian, because I do enjoy eating meat, but I fully admit that I need to eat less meat, the Impossible Sandwiches at Burger King are a great option because I can take one meal of my day and at least know that that's one that I'm eating less meat in and I can choose when and how I consume meat in the other meals of the day. It's a step in the right direction or a step in a different direction. Better direction. I don't know. I just don't see where vegans are going to be coming to Burger King and demanding anything because it's kind of in the name, Burger King. Not really for me. Fast food, not gonna be a pillar of good health. Probably not gonna be where a vegan's gonna to choose to spend their money. They can spend their money on the things that they know are gonna be what they actually desire to put into their bodies. It, I think it's just, a, as silly as it sounds, this talk about a fast food sandwich is just a little slice of this world that we're living in right now where everybody has the internet and everyone has an opinion. I mean, look, I'm doing it right now on the internet, talking to you. But we don't do it constructively. We always put a label on things, you know, they're, they're too much this or all of those people. When the reality is, whoever this person or group of people were that came forward complaining about traces of beef from the grill getting into their plant-based sandwich, they came in there for that purpose alone. They came in there for the reason of finding wrong. And one thing that you cannot deny is that in any situation in your life, if you go into the situation looking for negative, you will always find it. If you're looking for negative, you'll find it. If you're acting negatively, negative will find you. Negativity, it just multiplies. And as it multiplies, it gathers a larger group and suddenly you have, instead of just one poo stirrer stirring the pot, you have the entire sewer plant. If you enjoy having less meat in your diet and you want to have fast food now and again, let's be thankful that there's an option out there for you. If you're a vegan, keep being a vegan and keep understanding that Burger King's probably not your place. If you liked the video, leave it a like. If you wanna see more videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna know when the new videos come up and you have subscribed, click the bell icon. That's how you find out when a new video has been released. And until then, talk to you later.